Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Suppose that A, B, and C are real numbers, and the square of A plus B minus 5 plus the square of B plus 2C plus 3 plus the square of C plus 3A minus 10 is equal to 0. Find the integer closest to A cubed plus B cubed plus C cubed. I thank Sunculp for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So let's analyze this equation. Recall that if x is a real number, then x squared is greater than or equal to 0. That means the first square will be greater than or equal to 0, the second square will be greater than or equal to 0, and the third square will be greater than or equal to 0, because a, b, and c are real numbers. But we know the entire equation is equal to 0. If any of these terms were greater than 0, the entire sum would be greater than 0. The only way that the entire equation is equal to 0 is if each of the squares is equal to 0. But the only way that a square of a real number is equal to 0 is if the number itself is equal to 0. So each term inside of the square is equal to 0. So a plus b minus 5 is equal to 0, b plus 2c plus 3 is equal to 0, and c plus 3a minus 10 is equal to 0. We have three different equations, and we now have a system of equations for a, b, and c. We can solve for a, b, and c from these three equations. Here's one way to do that. Let's take the first and second equations and subtract the second equation from the first equation, eliminating the b variable. This leaves a minus 2c minus 8 is equal to 0, which means a is equal to 2c plus 8. From here, we could substitute into the third equation for a. So we have c plus 3 multiplied by the quantity 2c plus 8 minus 10 is equal to 0, which means c plus 6c plus 24 minus 10 is equal to 0, which means 7c is equal to negative 14, which means c is equal to negative 2. We can then substitute that a is equal to 2c plus 8, which means that a is equal to 4. Finally, we can take the first equation that a plus b minus 5 is equal to 0. We can solve that b is equal to 5 minus a, which means that b is equal to 1. So we've solved for a, b, and c. But there's one more step. We need to evaluate a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed. We substitute in and carefully simplify to get that the sum of the three cubes is equal to 57. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.